Oh, I picked myself up a bivy sack from Mountain Warehouse as part of my winter sleeping gear. Be good for any time anyway, it's waterproof. Plus, even in the summer, just with this in the polycot liner, it'd be okay. And looks like different pricing here. A little bit shaky on this tripod, I'm gonna zoom out. But it says 59 Canadian, I wouldn't pay that. Um, so I waited for it to go on half off, then uh, got a free shipping uh, thing going on and happened to have a 15% off coupon. And this was bundled with some other orders. Um, basically, we have here is a little bit more insulation for sleeping. If you haven't used a bivy sack, there's maybe some different names out there. People will talk about uh, bivvies or solo tents. That sort of thing would probably have more of like a fiberglass or aluminum pole system, uh, ultralight backpacking kind of bag with a tent that goes just over your head. This is just actually the bag itself, um, more of a sleeping bag liner, and not with any of that reflective uh, mylar stuff. Um, I like this piece here actually, where it tucks in the uh, the pinch to lock the cable, but basically. The coil here, nice and, and long. The material feels good. It's the same material as a tent, basically. It feels um, like a different texture on the inside than the outside. It's supposed to let stuff out and waterproof stuff in. So uh, I'm six foot two. It's definitely long enough for me in my bag. And uh, I guess the only thing I'm a little bit concerned on, I haven't tried this yet, is how am I getting in and out of that smoothly? I'm going to use the poly cotton bag. There's no zipper on that or Velcro. I might fix that just to add that. I do that to stuff and fix it up. Um, and this too. I mean, maybe there's going to be a place or a way that I can just add some Velcro, maybe halfway down and have it where there's a flap. Um, anyway, it feels good. I think for half price with the 15% off of free shipping, it'd be worth it to protect your stuff. I'm going to stuff that back in the baggie and uh we'll see if that goes in nice big sack that came with the packaging Oops. normally i'd roll it up but i like to stuff stuff in the sack to see if it's going to work it feels like it's going to go so we'll get it in there and just need another couple of seconds if you guys all bear with me well, not super exciting but i'll test it out see how it goes but right now it feels good it's some waterproof layer on top of the sleeping bag and i'm told um and also you know from talking with people um, scout shop, other outdoor campers, even when I was uh, doing stuff, uh, winter camping, uh, Canadian military type stuff, that that extra layer is going to give you up to 10 degrees Celsius and then the poly cotton up that much. Even if I got half that, so an extra 10 degrees uh, for both combined, that'd be pretty good. But I feel like uh, this bivy stack with something like a poly cotton liner together would make this super ultralight summer backpack. I mean, not a lot of padding, but might do a really good job of uh, giving you what you need.